Santos. Well, we were the last two days monitoring and responding to tropical storm slash hurricane Elsa kind of jog toggled back and forth. As these things go, probably as minimal impact as we would have anticipated if we went back four or five days, there was not any widespread property damage. Unfortunately, there was one reported fatality. It was kind of a freak thing where a tree fell on somebody uh, in, a, in a vehicle. And so we're obviously very, very sad to see that. But in terms of any widespread damage, it came, there's some water, there's relatively modest wind, and then it moved through uh, the state. And obviously, the further west it tracked, the less impacts that we saw here, which is something that we are obviously concerned about. We're also working to provide as much relief to the families from the state perspective as we can. So I've uh, ordered all our folks to suspend any type of property tax enforcement. I know Mayor Kava is doing the same for these uh, notices. And my goal is, is to suspend, waive any law I can under the state of emergency to forestall that. And then we probably will just ask the legislature to remit any of the property tax liability from Champlain Towers South. And so we'll work hard on that. And, um, and I think we'll be able to get that done. Also gonna meet with some uh, families about any outstanding needs. You know, I think FEMA has been great. The county has been great. We have charitable organizations. Florida DEM has been all hands on deck, but there are things that pop up that maybe people weren't thinking about. So we wanna be responsive. And there's been a huge outpouring uh, of charitable interest, not just from some of the organizations that we know, uh, but either other folks are asking me how they can help. So I think we want to channel that in appropriate ways. Uh, and then finally, just with yesterday's news, it's um, you know very sad. I remember getting the call uh, that said there was a partial collapse of a condo tower, and I didn't see images yet. I was thinking maybe some balconies fell. And then you saw the images on TV when I was in route down here. I was like, oh man, that looks pretty bad. Then when you got here, the TV didn't do it justice. And so it was a really devastating thing, but we, we hoped that there would be survivors located. And when we didn't get it initially, it's kind of like uh, really gnawed at you inside. I know it was just absolutely terrible for the families to just not get any information about a survivor being found. It was the best efforts for being employed for sure. And then I remember, I think it was the Saturday after it happened being out there, more debris was being removed, but then some of the smoke and the fires, and I just had a real uh, bad feeling, it was like in the pit of my stomach, just, man, this is, uh, this is not good. But they kept carrying on, they did, they did all that they can, uh, that they did all that they could. Uh, but but it's, been a, it's been a rough couple of weeks, and, and I think the waiting and trying to, is there hope? Will we be able to have a miracle? I think I know it's weighed a lot on the families. It's weighed on the whole community. I know it's weighed on all of us who've been participating in this response. And so, so yesterday was tough. Um, I appreciated what they did for, for doing the vigil, but the, the work's gonna go on. And obviously they're gonna identify every single person. And we obviously wanna do all we can for the, the survivors uh, and the family members. Uh, to get them on their feet as best as we possibly can. It is not going to be easy. This is a, a big uh, void that's going to be felt, not just in these families, but in this community as a whole. But we, we understand this is not something that uh, the, pretty soon there won't be cameras here, but we understand that this is something where there, the needs are going to continue. And so we want to be there. and We want to be helpful for folks. Thank you, Mr. Governor. <clears throat> Lieutenant Governor Jeanette Nunez.